mega, super, atomic, and now amazing. Bomberman's had a long-standing history in gaming, going back to the 1980s. Not every entry ended up being worth your time, but most tried to put a spin on the franchise. Either by adding much-loved multiplayer, attempting a 3D world with mixed results, or simply adding new power-ups and calling it a day, the franchise never rested too much on its laurels and remains a standout of party games. Exclusive to Apple devices, Amazing Bomberman looks to bring some classic gameplay with an iTunes twist, as this title fully embraces J-pop and other genres, making it the lo-fi beats to relax and blow up to. Let's open up D-pads and DLC to check out the latest entry in this long-standing franchise. Is this title worth the cost of the Apple Arcade admission? When Luminez came about for the PlayStation Portable, it was a revolution. It had great and addictive gameplay, sure, but its synergy with the music you heard made it something special. Games like Rez explored this with shooters, and now it's Bomberman's time to do this with competitive party games. If you've been in a Fallout shelter for 30 plus years, Bomberman's gameplay is rather simplistic. In a grid, your heroic Bomberman is placed between blocks that cannot be destroyed, and armed with bombs to take out the ones that can be. You face off against opponents who have the same powers and agility as you do, in this version, you can face up to three opponents, both computer-driven and human. Some of the games go ridiculous with their count. The recent Super Bomberman R experience allowed up to 64 players at once, for example. Bombs start with limitations. You can only place one, it can only blow up blocks immediately next to it, and it's stuck wherever you've placed it. Power-ups that fall or can otherwise be revealed expand the radius if it will penetrate blocks, allow the player to move it once dropped, etc. Out of the arsenal of upgrades the Bombermen have had over the years, Amazing keeps it down to the traditional and iconic ones, not exploring new avenues. How they arrive might be a bit unique, though. The game syncs much of the weapon deliveries and restoration of destroyed blocks to the music, which we're not going to play here because that's a straight way to get a content warning. You don't select maps based on classic gaming tropes like Grassland or Factory, but you pick a retro-stylized cassette to decide what the background visuals and accompanying song are. These background videos range from the abstract to outright FMV territory. They definitely bring a unique visual style to the game, but it can make things a bit harder to visualize. If you are someone who only plays Street Fighter on the playing grid background, this may be a bit overstimulating. A nice element is how retro-stylized the entire experience is. The menu show a relaxed Bomberman playing on his PC engine, with much of the whole experience being hand-drawn, outside of the actual gameplay. It would have been great to trick out your own player with custom outfits, but that appears to be limited to banners and character profiles at this point. Gameplay is likewise limited, your length of play is dictated by the length of the song, you're capped at 4 players, and a point system is the only way to decide the winner. You can't set various rules to decide if it's decided by the pure win count, longest time without being killed, etc. With the commitment to the musical bit, you have a double-edged sword. Levels are limited, and it may take some serious training to unlock some of the tracks. Despite being an Apple Arcade original, there's no leverage of your existing Apple Music account or songs you may already have in your iTunes library. And while the gameplay itself is limited, traditional mobile game style challenges do at least encourage you to play the meta game in different ways each time. Apple Arcade is designed to be a subscription service that outright denies the ability to purchase in-game content, which means that there's no way you can pay to win in this title. That's a great aspect, making players actually have to get good to win. I may not actually be at that level yet. Amazing Bomberman is a neat side adventure into the classic genre, and worth a check out if you're already in the Apple Arcade ecosystem. If not, you're not missing out on a must-play title in the franchise and are safe to stick with its bigger brethren.